afternoon or some later here. We vlog every day. So if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. And today, we run. <laughs> you run. <laughs> but it's a, it's a we, it's a, it's a collaborative event. This road is crazy. This is like, we've never been in this kind of area before. We are very close to a lot of like, the natural reserves. Yeah. For a little context, this is what the Maps app looks like. Right now, we're headed to Gamble Rogers State Park. So this whole event is called the Daytona 100. There's a 100 miler and a 50 miler, and then the 50K. So what Peter's actually doing, the 31 miles, is the shortest of the three um, of the events going on today. The other events have already started earlier, so this is technically like the mile 70 mark, and then Peter finishes at the 100 mile mark. Are you excited? I'm super excited. Now we're out here, like, near the water and the wildlife, and I forget that like, even though I'm not running, I'm only running the, the beach for a couple miles throughout the whole 31, all of it is pretty much right next to the beach. Like it's the road that is next to the beach. Yeah. So I'm still to the gonna, ocean. Oh, there's some right. people fishing. Look at this. Like we're just like next to this water. Like this is crazy. Wow. So Gamble Rogers. He's a real life troubadour. <laughs> the only the reason we know what a troubadour is is from Gilmore Girls. Yeah. It feels real now. <laughs> we're, it's 12.30. I was worried that we would get here super late. I want to get here before 1. This is the A1A. We're running the A1A all the way down to Daytona. There's more runners here too, so that's... that's so we're going to make some friends because there's only 13 runners, so it's like an hour and a half. I'm going to have to get ready and everything, but we've got plenty of time. We're like 30 minutes away. Yeah, 30 minutes until the start. Other people have started to show up now. Beer's all ready. Gotta put my belt on. I got all the body glide and KT tape yeah. and sunblock. So ready. We kind of have a strategy now, Sarah, because it's only the A1A Street, which is the road right across along like the right, way. Right, yeah. So Sarah's probably just going to like sit around for 50 minutes, read, do stuff for the vlog, yeah. come find me, say hi, right. see if I need anything. Even if it's just like yeah. he's screaming at him. Yeah. Right, see if he needs anything. But then we realized that we have like lawn chairs, so we might like get to just like enjoy the ocean at, at the, the end at of the, the finish line. Because the finish line, I think, is right where the original Daytona on the beach race was. Yeah. So um, maybe I'll pick up some vacation drinks or something like that beforehand. So yeah, right. we don't know like how it's gonna start. It's like just very like. It's, there's ten of us. But it's cool because. The lingo that everyone's using is like how the people talk in Peter's running videos that like we watch all the time. So, so it's, it's like pretty it's cool. The ultra world. We're in the ultra running world now. You're definitely like super excited the way that, but like in a different way than you are for the Disney races. Like yeah. you have like a, a cooler excitement. I'm you. nervous. Ooh. We got a cool bag. Oh, the third. This is the one I want to do, I think. The 100 mile? Yeah. It's so. right by my birthday. Okay, we got a cool bag. Here's my bib. Awesome. Too low key, there's not even holes punched in it. And then I got the original Keys 100 with a shirt. Well, this is nice material. Ooh. One of your shirts just got a hole in it, so it's perfect oh, timing. I like it. Yeah. And it's super soft. Here. I just realized that I don't think there's signage at all because this is so low. Because ultra marathons are usually real low key, like self sustained, self crewing. And I don't know if there's going to be signs. There's two turns, three turns I have to make in this whole race, or else I get lost. So. I'll come up real quick. Oh, hey, we're starting 205. 205. That's the race director. Yeah. There's only like 10 or 11 of us. Yeah. But everything's clearly marked, so we're good. Feel better now after that pep talk. Alright, go get him, guys. Have a good race. Woo -hoo! On the A1A, here goes my first 50k, first ultra.
I am just like, I can't believe today's here. I'm like kind of overwhelmed, but I'm also like feeling kind of underprepared compared to everybody else. Like everybody else has like a plan and like they're technically like crewing and they have stuff like in their car ready for their runners. Whereas like Peter has always been like very self-sufficient when he runs, like taking his nutrition and whatnot with him. So honestly, I'm just here for like moral support. But um, it's kind of cool to see the other people do it. But also, I'm just, like, super proud of Peter for being able to, like, kick butt even on his own. Um, so, I don't even know, like, how good could he do if, like, we legitimately, like, planned things out a little bit better. I guess we were just, like, kind of newbies at all of this. So, majority of Peter's race is on this sidewalk to the right. So, we should see him before I decide to stop. So I'll do my best to capture him, but while being safe. Woo! Sarah just pulled in right there. She didn't even see me, but I can't stop. I'm so sorry, sir. I just missed him. No. I accidentally checked my watch. I don't like to do that because I get in my head. But five miles down 20% of the way I can't I'm not doing math right now I'm going I was so perfect with timing that I missed him but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a race without me missing Peter huh <laughs> oh my gosh I like looked down at my phone and I'm like wait he's right here but he's on a roll he had to keep going oh my goodness gracious here we go Okay, so I just parked in a church parking lot. Um, I didn't want to make like a huge stretch until I see Peter again, <clears throat> just to kind of redeem myself after that little pickup. But he's like two and a half miles away, so I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes because that would be about two miles-ish. And then I'm gonna go walk to the sidewalk so I can cheer him on from the sidewalk and I'll be fine in this church parking lot. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. I'm just gonna read. 11 miles in, one third. Feeling good, but probably gonna kick it down a gear. I've been averaging nine minutes. There's a girl who's behind me. Her, Ryan said she was averaging 8.30. Which means if she sustains that, she will pass me, which I'm okay with. But I like the idea of me potentially being motivation for her. Because I'm I don't plan on keeping this speed the whole run. I've been doing like a nine minute. So good. Do you see him? Do you see him? Can I take anything? No, I'm good. Okay. That was giving me a headache, but Okay. I love you. Love you. Is that water? Yeah. Yay! That was that was awesome. That was great. That was mile 11. Holy smokes. Here we are. Just past 15 miles. Hopefully I'll see Sarah soon. I gotta slow it down. My left knee's hurting, but we are in civilization again. Okay, here he comes. This is like mile 17, so he's officially more than halfway. Okay, a little update on after seeing Peter. Um, his left knee and leg are hurting him a little bit. Um, so I didn't wait as long to see him this time. I'm actually right by a mini aid station. Like we said, like this is very different than any other race Peter has done, but it is nice that there is water, Coke, and pretzels, and these little shiny lights. So I'm just gonna hang out here, and hopefully Peter will be here soon. Look at this guy go. <laughs> Starting this to hurt. Go, go. But I'm trying to be smart. Yeah. We're at 19 miles. This Courtney, I found her name. Her name's Courtney. She's coming up on me. She's going to pass me, but that's okay. We have dopey. We have dopey we have in three weeks. More... And I need to be safe because yeah. my right, my left knee is cramping bad. You're but still kicking butt. Did you show all this? I did. I didn't realize that there were pretzels and tortillas, so Peter's eating a sweet potato tortilla. I'm going to walk with this one. And this, one, this one's going in my party pocket. Good. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. Where do you want me to see you next? Five miles? Yeah? 
The hard. turn? How the turn. Your, your turn left. Yeah, okay. Okay, Peter's got two miles until he gets to me. Okay, so the sun is basically down. It is 5.43. I am between mile 23 and 24. The sky looks crazy. And Peter should be coming down this path any minute. The reality of things like this is that they're very straining. Um, physically, he's doing okay, um, hurting, but he can take it as slow as he wants. There's, you know, there's no time limit. Um, emotionally, he's hurting. Um, just wants it to be done, but also like, imagine having just like five hours to be in your head. Um, you guys know it's been. It's hard to leave him. Um, an emotionally trying week. It's been emotionally trying the last couple of months. This is a very big triumph for Peter and for us overall. Um, you guys know we had goals. So I am just going to see him at the finish line because I'm actually going to get Peter some beer. I'm going to get me probably maybe a fountain drink. Um, and something to snack on on the beach once it's all over. I cannot wait for it just to be over. It's that point in the race where you're just tired. All right, six and a half miles left. We are in the thick of it. It is dark, I got my head set on. I got my blinking lights on on my back, so on my attached to my shirt on my back. Here it is, points inlet florida that's where the finish line is let's go see this famous lighthouse and get this run over with this is what i mean by how cool ultras are ultra marathons are because they're just so low-key and labors of love by the crews these aren't run disney events this right here this little sign with two blinkers is the only way i would know to turn this has been such a good race. I didn't think my knee would hurt like it did. I did such good prep, such good training. And it's my first ultra, so I've learned a lot so far. I still have five more miles. I'm sure I'll learn more in those five miles. But I, I didn't realize the emotional effect that happened this run. And I'll explain more later because I can't right now. So after four hours and 45 minutes, I'm just about to complete a marathon. I'm at 26.0 miles. After I run through 0.2 more miles, all that's left is to become an ultra marathoner. So the finish line is actually in front of the race director's parents' house, and I just saw Courtney finish, and she was, I think, maybe the only person in front of Peter, actually. Um, He's got about three miles left. I know it's going to be tough on the beach and all that, but I'm going to go ahead inside, bring more stuff with, and then be there to cheer him on when he comes in. All right. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this right here means the beach is closed. Beach is closed. Do not enter. Beach closed under, but I see red blinking lights up there, and that means... I don't know if this has been permitted or if just the racing organization said, phooey, we're doing it. I can hear the ocean. Look at that vehicle access fees, 20 bucks. And no, thank you. I'm using my feet, I'm using my feet today. You guys that don't might, might not know this, but I kind of don't like the ocean at night. It's real dark. It's real spooky. Open water, usually fine with open water, open black, open water. I did not think this through. This is spooky. I gotta do my redo my headlight. Make it the brightest. There you go. All right. Here it comes. I'm on the sand. This is going to be not the best. Sweaty Ultra USA. This way. Holy cannoli. This is this is spooky, guys. This is real spooky. If I'm being honest. I thought this was going to be cool. The 
mean, it is cool. And the sand's definitely not as compact as I imagined it to be. All right, I'm at 27.9 miles, two, basically two miles left, a little over two miles. I'm just gonna put the, the camera away and enjoy this, whatever stretch I have on here. So he is on the actual beach right now. Oh, Peter, I am with you. I am so in my heart with you. All right, we're off the beach. Coming up here. I see blinking lights. I think it's the last turn. I hit 30 miles. I just need to do like 0.1 or 0.09 or something. Here comes the finish. Wow. I did it. Ooh. I did it. You did do it. And I literally, trying to get the shot of Peter coming in, dropped the camera off a mailbox and might have busted the screen. So, are you okay? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. Um, came in second. Out of, out, of the, out of the out of the 50 k there was like 10 or 11 of us that came in second, and I was in first until mile 21. And Courtney, who finished first, was looking so strong, and I was like, Courtney, yeah. go, kill it, you're owning it. Yeah. What was your final time? Five and a half, I think. Five twenty-nine. Let's eat some Food. treats. Go home. All right, we are home. He is just chilling. I drive the camera. So we're at the camera, so right now the screen doesn't work and there's a weird noise when we zoom in or zoom out, so we'll have to get that figured out, but it still works. And we're ordering Lazy Moon Pizza, but this time no cheese. Are you pumped? I wish it was stuffed deep dish pizza. Same. I'm also, I also rolled, got a bunch of water, and I'm enjoying the six pack of Jail that Sarah got me. December 7th. Choose your thoughts carefully. Keep what brings you peace, release what brings you suffering, and know that happiness is just a thought away. It is late. Big We're, day. There you go, come on, yo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Big day. I'm I so proud of you. All of you guys for sending me messages and tweeting and texting and commenting. I was getting those during the run and it helped a lot. And all of you guys' support almost over the two years now. Yeah. They've been incredible. And now we can say. I'm officially an ultra marathon runner. And I actually like got to be your crew today. It was you did. fun. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done it without Sarah, especially. Mm -hmm. She came in clutch. I had a lot of emotional like demons coming up. You guys know like I started running because of our infertility and like we I keep setting these high goals because what we're doing with their infertility battle is the highest goal ever for us. Yeah. And I, you know, thought that by this time we would have our babies and mm -hmm. weeks ago we did have our baby one of our babies yeah and i expected sarah crewing to look differently and so that's what i, I was saying how it was an emotional battle a lot today but we got through it keep running we're for gonna our keep babies. running exactly mm -hmm. even after they're born even after they're because they they're gonna they're gonna chew me in with little yeah. signs mm -hmm. as big as them mm -hmm. it's good to be home it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.